Hello, everybody. Good morning to you. Good morning. Recently, I went back to Avery Island. Avery Island is about an hour and a half south from where we live. I went there with one specific reason in mind, and that was to get me some more hot sauce. Now, <laughs> Tabasco hot sauce is available all over, uh, at least around here, anyway. But I went there because, uh, as far as I know, this is pretty much the only place you can buy the reserve, the family reserve. You actually gotta go to Avery Island and go to the little country store there uh, on the island and buy the family reserve. They have all kinds of flavors now. There's a uh, Chipotle, there's hot, hot, hot Tabasco sauce. Um, there's uh, smoked, I believe. And, and of course you can also go there and try out the, uh, the ice cream that's flavored with Tabasco sauce. Don't knock it till you try it. Uh, but anyway, I went there because I have really become a big fan of the family reserve Tabasco sauce. Now, here's one of the reasons why I like it, because it has an amazing story. Each bottle is aged up to eight years. It says right here, up to eight years in white oak barrels for a distinguished flavor. So this is not just something they brewed up yesterday, but this has been setting in barrels for eight years mellowing, aging, doing whatever it does in those barrels. Eight years, eight years. So I think it would be safe to say it's not a flash in the pan. It's not just a one hit wonder. Hey, let me show you the bottle. This is the bottle right here. So good, so very good. Flash in the pan. Uh, I heard that term pretty much all my life. Uh, don't be a flash in the pan. In other words, if you're going to be involved in church or sports or uh, academics or a community organization or whatever it is, don't be a flash in the pan. Uh, don't show up and perform and then go and uh, hide out or go do something else. But stay after after you have been publicly involved and stay when the crowd leaves and help take out the trash and help sweep the floor and uh, help do the grunt work. Yeah, yeah, you did great on the basketball court. You did wonderful, um, you know, on the platform at church. Uh, yeah, hey, you're doing a wonderful job there at, on your new job, but don't be a flash in the pan. Uh, stick around and not just stick around for the day or even after the work or after the game or after the church service, but stick around for a while. You may be the talk of the town because you're the you're the latest and greatest. That's awesome. That's wonderful. But give me some time. Put some time in. Uh, show that you're not just a flash in the pan, but stick around and and uh, add some real credibility to your story because you've hung around uh, when things were not glamorous. Uh, maybe when you didn't shoot the basketball as well as you did before. Maybe when your song was not as, uh, you know, special as it was before. Uh, you keep sticking around. You just age. You gain credibility. You get corn in the crib. And yeah, right now, you're the latest, greatest, and all that. And that's wonderful. But the beautiful part of your story is not now. It's not the applause, but the beautiful part of your story is going to be as you age gracefully and you have stickability and you have consistency. Um, if you'll stick around and be consistent and just be faithful. I've said that before. I know, and you've heard it many times before, but faithfulness is so important. If you're going to really be who you claim you are and say you are and, and act like you are, consistency does matter so very much. Being found faithful in the end when you stand before God is so important as well. Plant some roots. Even if you get stuck in a barrel or a valley or on the side of the mountain, you just plant yourself some roots and just stay. There's something to be said about someone who doesn't just fly in and fly out and 
do their thing and they're gone, but someone that is willing to stay. When things are not exciting, when there's a drought, when there's a famine, uh, when things have gone sideways, when there's a train wreck, but you've stayed, you've stayed because you're more than just a flash in the pan. You're more than just a Johnny come lately. You have decided in your mind, hey, this is it. This is home. This is where I am going to stay in the good times and the bad. I'm going to be consistent and I'm going to be found faithful. And I'm going to add that to my story, my story of being a person that's known to be consistent. God bless you. Hey, try it out. It's good. Family Reserve Tabasco Sauce. Thanks for watching Coffee with the Pastor today, everybody. I hope you have a great day.